let's go ahead and just see if we can kill the cop. Okay, he didn't aggro anybody else. Oh shit, he aggroed him there. Oh no, no, this way. <laughs> All right. Somebody's walking on gravel, like, right above me. Okay, we need to take this seeker out, because I don't want one wandering around while we're trying to do our thing. I'd say that's pretty stealthy. <laughs> oh man, she walked right up to us before she saw us. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. She was right in our face before she saw us. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm just curious where those guys broke in at is all. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's let's go back down into the basement for a minute because I don't know if I don't know if we got through the whole entire thing. Yeah, let's get that. See there's an exit there, there's a doorway there that might have some Zeeks behind it. Um the thing is, is do we want to try and bust into the grub bar or not? Is there any reason? I think I do. I think I want to try and go in here and just see what's in here. So, let's make some noise. Yeah, that only made 23 points of noise. That's not too bad. Okay, so what do we got in here? Got a couple sinks. Oh, no, we've already been in here. We came down through the ceiling. Okay, I just didn't recognize it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now we know. Now we know. Yeah, I just wasn't registering with my brain that that's a place we'd already been. So, the question is now, is there anybody in here? See, this is just a tad bit dark, and this is just a tad bit too much. <laughs> um, what if we... What if we did this? Let's just bump this up. Maybe two points. Just so you guys can see better on the video. And then I'll try and remember to turn it down when we, uh, you know, yeah, that looks a little too washed out. Let's go. Let's go to 47. Okay, that's a good compromise. I'll try and remember to turn that back down, you know, once we get outside. But I like, I love the idea of using the night vision goggles at night. It makes perfect sense and they work and so we're cool. In the daytime, however, let's wear these so that we can, you know, get the advantage of the XP. I'm just going to leave that stuff in there for now until we uh, need the space. Nice. Okay. Got some recog there. So this is an exit as well. Where does it go? Oh, it's the elevator shaft. Okay. Now we know. You know, this would be a good place to retreat to if we really got uh, ganked, because this is like... Well, okay, it's... it's I, I, was, I thought this place was made out of steel, but maybe it's made out of concrete. But still, it's a pretty stout spot. So if we really get bad ganked, if we could run back down here and get a land claim block down, um, you know, we could hold, hold our ground. So let's keep that place in mind. Now we have a door here, too. And it is unlocked. Okay. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay, Nurse Nancy's not going to give us our crossbow bolt back. Let's look for toilet pistols for parts. Not that we really need them anymore, but... Okay. 
Okay, let's see if there's anybody in here. Nope. I bet you there is sometimes, though. That's definitely an ambush place. So we're on floor one. And we still need to go up to get our satchel. Hey, look at that. That seemed to have gotten a sleeper's attention. All right. I know this is kind of going a little bit a little bit slower than usual guys but it's kind of a combination of you know this is not the kind of build where you just run in and start blasting everything first of all and secondly it's you know kind of my first time trying out ooh stealth so i'm taking a little more time than usual but as as we get more comfortable with the build and i shut up and quit trying to comment on every little move i'm making <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we'll be able, we'll we'll move faster in the future when we're doing stuff like this. Uh, but I'm I'm just really enjoying myself right now. Hope you guys are enjoying the the video too. And we're definitely gonna have to cut this up into at least two, maybe even three parts because it's going so long. But you know, tier five quests in, in Alpha 18 are just no joke, and they're they're really dangerous to do solo. Um, so you know, for that reason too, I just I don't want to rush. So, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You've got, uh, you've got two dog foods. Okay. Yeah, dog food is like the most valuable canned food. Well, I'm, I'm actually, that's, I'm looking for dog food. Uh, shams are valuable for sham chowder, though. We got quite a few of those. And we need, uh, salmon for fish tacos. So those are kind of my prioritized... Uh, things now. All right, so the flashlight's telling us to go that way, plus we can't get through there anyway without breaking it and making a shitload of noise. And remember, there was two Zeeks right outside the door here. Um, and it looks like there's no place else to go but outside. So, let's see if we can sneak out there and just... we got to make sure that our crossbow bolt doesn't hit the door. I think we're okay out here. Wasn't there a couple of them out here, though? Yeah. Okay. It, it's... I'll tell you what, though. It's kind of... In, in addition to being just fun anyway, you know, doing the stealth thing and these one-shot kills, it's kind of refreshing to not, you know, have to get rushed every single time we come across the next set of zombies like we were before. Plus, it's saving on ammo because, you know, we can recover our crossbow bolts a good percentage of the time. I think this build would be hard to do in the very early game, at least on insane difficulty. But it's definitely a, a viable and fun, you know, end to game build for sure. All right, we got to make sure we get around him. Because, you know, if you guys have been watching me all along, you know that I don't usually one-shot Zs on Insane because they're just so tough, you know. So, since I'm one-shotting all normal zombies and at least half of the irradiateds that we've come across so far, um, just think how powerful this build would be on normal settings, you know. Is there anything in there? Okay. All right, let's continue on here. We got a sleepy this way. That's a feral sleepy. Dead nonetheless. Okay, so the light's telling us to go that way. I'm curious though, what is down here? 
We've got chili uh, for chili dogs, which is the other canned food that I want. I gotta remember to bring some money with me. All right, that's just down through here, the other side of that hallway. Okay, cool. These tier 5 POIs are so long, too. It takes such a long time to get through them. Okay, she doesn't have a bolt for us. Does this guy? Yes, he does. Oh, shit! Oh, my God, that scared me. You son of a... That completely scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> oh, man. My heart rate just went up about... Ten times higher than a spell. Well, not ten times. I'd be dead if it was ten times, but you know what I mean. Oh, geez, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, all right, let's take uh, one of these. This might not be a bad time, though, for us to... I mean, the Jeep's right there. Maybe we just bust through the wall and unload before we continue. Yeah, I think after we do this tier five, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna hit some skyscraper um, libraries so we can find those final schematics that we need. Because I'm I'm loving these steel crossbow bolts, but you know we're gonna run out at some point. Damn, bears making me nervous. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna harvest the buzzard. Let's just leave him. Okay, here we go. Continuing on. Oh shit, that's Kirby. Holy crap, you freaking buzzards! Where did he? Where are, the, where are these guys coming from? Oh, Lord Almighty. Okay. Are you going to attack me or what? You son of a... Alright, well, forget him then. Was he, like, just right inside that door? Where in the hell was... Oh, I wonder if he was up on the, the ductwork there. Come here, you piece of shit. Okay. Whoopsie. How in the hell did that miss? My crosshairs were totally over her skull. Even shooting from the hip. Oh, she dropped a bag. Okay, let's close that door. Oh man, the buzzard scared the hell out of me. Um, I should say startled the hell out of me. Let's put those on and see what's in here. Okay. We'll always take more ammo. We're all already a quarter of the way to the next level. Oh, we got another level too, didn't we? Uh, all right. So what we're doing is we're going to focus on getting pain tolerance and healing factor up. Uh, so in order to do that, we got to, we got to pump uh, fortitude. Why are there dogs in the hospital? Is this... This is not a veterinarian hospital. Vet, veterinary hospital. Veterinary hospital. I said veterinarian hospital. Nice. Oh, we already did that one. All right, guys. So our first safe... As a stealth character. No, is this... Yeah, this is our first safe, because we actually opened a chest earlier, not a safe. And, <laughs> and it fails. Of course it does. We don't care, though, because we've got tons of lockpicks, and we can make more. Oh, uh, he's trying to get through there. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do.
Okay, I guess we... Do we go up that way? Let's see what's around the corner here. All right, let's go on up this way. So our satchel is still another floor up. Okay, we got a sleeper over there. Can we shoot through these rails? I think we can. Look at that. We don't even know that. Nice. Not that we're going to probably ever use it, because we already have, like, two purple uh, magnums, but it's always good to know it. Ah, shoot. You know what? I should have put my luckies on. All right, we're going to take these, and we're going to take this. I'm not even going to mess with that, because it's not worth anything, and we do not need any scrap metal. Yeah, this is all new, too, um, since Alpha 17. There's that damn dog. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Um, if we don't one-shot this guy, we're probably gonna have to MP5 him. Uh, we could try. We could try and pistol him, I guess. How did that get unloaded? Thought I reloaded it. I maybe I switched too soon. Okay, so let's switch to steel crossbow bolts. And yeah, if we don't one-shot this guy, we'll probably let's just pistol him. Because the pistols have the armor piercing rounds. Well. There we go. Didn't have no, anything to worry about. That's, ladies and gentlemen, is why I want to get... Oh, shit! The steel crossbow bolts ASAP. Oh, this is this is kind of a uncomfortable situation. There could be Zeke's on either one of these walls here, either side. So let's go nice and slow. Oh, <laughs> he woke up and we still took his head off. Awesome, 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 possum. All right, let's make sure the rest of this room is clear, and then I'm going to break that brass there. Oh, man, look at that shot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is so freaking awesome. Okay, let's go get the brass. Oh. 
Oh, oh shit. Switch to steel. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, what we're gonna do yeah, let's just use one of these. He is he isn't irradiated, so we don't wanna Oh shit. Actually, you know what? You're just a normal and I have an antibiotic if you happen to infect me, so screw you. Off of your head. Okay, uh, these doors are locked, but I have a feeling we're going to go in that room from out here, so. I think we've been, we've had 100% successful stealth kills on non-irradiated zombies, and... Maybe, I don't know, 50% on the ir irradiateds? I don't know. I don't know how many we've tried to kill yet. That's interesting. An interesting passageway. Okay, before we go in there, let's loot this. And we got a couple sinks and a lamp. Oh, that reminds me. I've got a couple more treasure maps that we'll have to do. We'll hop in the altar light and go after those in an upcoming episode. You know, the funny thing about the ultralight is, is I just really haven't had to use it a whole lot. Mostly because, you know, we've stayed in the the forest mega city area for mo the most part. Where it's super useful is, of course, uh, going after those treasures that are so far away. It would have been fantastic to have it early on when we were exploring, but, I mean, you can't afford it that early on. Should we have the zombies blow themselves up on the landmine? Let's make sure we're not taking any splash damage ourselves. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, he's in irradiated too. Oh, off with his head. It's a beautiful thing.
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's put our luckies on. Check the bag. All good stuff. Um, all right, it's time for us to make a drop chest because it's a little bit far to go all the way back down to the Jeep at this point, I think. Another ammo stash. What kind of hospital was this? Ooh. There's some nastiness in there. An irradiated biker. Dangerous AF. Okay, we're probably gonna have to get out the uh we're probably gonna have to get out the uh MP5s for him. When I do that, I can't recover my bolt, can I? No. Surgery! Wow, look at the nastiness in there. Oh my god. Alright, um... Definitely gonna switch to... Steel crossbow bolts. We might have a big fight on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. We might indeed. Alright, this is a feral cop. Let's see if we can one-shot him with a steel crossbow bolt. Nope. Alright, if it's just... Oh! Dang! <laughs> that hurt us! So we, we definitely put the hurt on him, man. We definitely put the hurt on him. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's a good thing that these are pretty stout, uh, stout walls. Alright, so let's do this. Let's hop up here. It... Are we, oh yeah, we can still shoot. Sneak. Sneaky, sneaky. I can't really get a headshot on this guy, so I'm just going to shoot him in the knee, I guess. That looks like it could be a biker, too. We going over to the other door? All right. We can go over to the other door. It's going to take these guys a million years to break this 7,000 hit point land claim block, so you might as well just melee him. come from he probably came out the other door well no he didn't because we got oh then they finally they must have broke that land claim
Wow. Oh, man. Like I said, you guys, irradiated bikers on insane difficulty. Scary. I don't know if there's a if there's a tougher zombie than them. Maybe an irradiated white would be. Cops are too. Irradiated cops are. Whew. All right. That was a fight. Yes, it was. The good news, though, is we made enough noise to where I'm sure we woke up everybody else, in, at least in this immediate vicinity. Somebody's somewhere else is making some noise, too. Oh, well, look at you. You're on the wrong side, lady. We're putting you in the junk. <laughs> oh man. Okay. That's kind of tricky. Let's make it untricky. We used all of our uh, land claim blocks up in that little fight, didn't we? Okay, we're going to have to get some stone. Let's close that door. This is the bathroom that we were looking into to try and get that stuff. To get some more stone. Make a few more land claims. We'll make three more, so we need 15 stone. Okay, this guy's not really worth fixing up and selling, um, and I've got lots of uh, low-level wrenches, you know, for making new workbenches if we need to later on back at the base, so we don't need it. Just in case you're wondering why I scrapped an orange wrench. You know, the funny thing, too, is the next time I do this quest in the hospital here, a fetch quest, we could find the, the satchel, like, right inside the door on the first floor. In fact, that happened to uh, to us on uh, when we did the mansion quest, the Batcave mansion. Whew, okay, that roof there, that's where the nastiness is. I wonder if we're going to have to go all the way up there. We're getting close, guys. Getting close. Tier 5 quests take a long time. Every Tier 5 quest I've ever done, you know, you got a good 2-3 hour investment. If Unless you just, you know, go balls out crazy trying to get it done, and then you usually get killed if you do that. Right, we finally found a guy in there.
Okay, here we go, guys. We're getting up to the nastiness now. Wait, is our satchel... Yeah, it's on this floor. Phew, lots of places for baddies to hide. Okay, um... Let's close that door. I think that's our satchel right there, yeah. What? Oh. That freaked me out. Woot! We did it! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, uh, well, that was, that was quite the thing. Okay, well, here's the thing, guys. We're gonna get the fat loots for sure. And, um, I don't know, we might, uh, we might poke our head up on the roof and just see how bad it is. I mean, if we could pick them off one by one, we could potentially kill them all. But, that's a big if, because they're going to be, they're not going to be your run-of-the-mill normal Zekers. They're going to be nasty guys. Um, all right, yeah, let's just keep following the path for the moment. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't want to go up there. Oh my god, I don't want to go up there. Um, is it is that the fat loot room? I don't know. I I think I'm. That's west. Uh, the jeep's that way. Yeah, you know what? I think the fat loot is maybe on the other side of the building. I don't know. I'm a little confused, but let's just keep going. I thought we were elsewhere. Alright, well, we got a nice large ammo pile. No room for anything. Let's put our luckies on. The worst comes to absolute worst, we'll bail off the frickin' side. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, jeez. See? This, that's bad. That is so bad. Oh, all right. Well, here's the thing. We don't have to clear these guys. I would consider doing it if we could lure them into a place that we could then hold up with a land claim block and just MP5 them down. SMG. Wait. We might also be able to take a few of them out from here. Let's not skimp on our crossbow bolts. All right, here's here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Before we proceed, let's quietly go back down and figure out where we're going to stand our ground at. We're going to run down these stairs as fast as we can. And we could probably just come right in here, actually. Yeah, you know what? That's what we'll do. We'll come right here. We'll close the door. We'll put an LC block down. Let's get the LC block ready to go. And then we'll just stand our ground here. And we'll just use... We'll pull out the SMGs and show them what for. Okay, that's the plan. <laughs> are the SMGs loaded? Yes, they are. Pistol loaded. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Let's try this. Let's try this. This is crazy. But we come, we've come this far, we might as well see it all the way through, right? That's what I say. Okay, so the plan is, we're going to try and pick off the non-irradiateds first. Let's 
See, we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have this stealth build. We just light them up and take them all on. All right, now I got who's actually still alive. <laughs> I can't tell. Let's just yeah, let's wait for the ones I just killed to um despawn. Okay, this guy. That's a cop. I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill a cop with one shot. Okay. All right. Hey, not too bad, eh? So we've got an, an Edgar. A little mama or lady zombie, whatever her name is. Darlene Marlene, something like that. I don't... That might be an Edgar, too. I can't really tell. And then we got a cop. So let's go ahead and just see if we can kill the cop. Okay, he didn't aggro anybody else. Oh, shit, he aggroed him there. Oh, no, no, this way. <laughs> run. Run, 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 run. Get in here, quick. Okay. We got this. We got this. Suck it, irradiated, irradiated Edgar. Another irradiated Edgar. Yeah, you can't heal, can you? I got the rad remover, you sucker. No healing for you either. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, I still hear somebody else. Let's just wait here for a little bit longer. It almost sounds like all of those zombies are down below. Okay, we are no longer in stealth mode. We are in, if anything gets my way, I'm going to blow the shit out of it mode. Whew, okay. And then, let's see, do we go down there or down here? I think we go down here to get to the fat loots, yeah. And there they are. All right. Successful first tier 5 quest, you guys, with our new stealth build. Pretty happy how it went. Pretty happy how it went. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got, and then we got to wrap up this episode. Um, this is definitely going to have to be <laughs> a multi-part episode. This took a long time. I mean, if you think about it, right, we started this quest... We started this quest like 24 in-game hours ago, about, because it was just right before Nightfall... Um, you know, when we started, I believe. So it, it's taken us a full in-game day uh, to do this. Of course, you know, we could have gone faster, but it was like our first, you know, our first run with the, with the stealth build and all that. So, oh darn it, I forgot to put the nerdies back on for those kills. It's okay. Uh, we are two-thirds of the way. Actually, no, about three-quarters of the way to the next level. Okay, let's see what we got in this in, in the episode. So here's the gun bag. All right, we got a compound bow, but it's not a uh, it's not a, a purple. And let's see what's in the big chest. And I'm gonna have to, of course, come back up here and get this. Plus, I've got that other drop chest, and I want to bring some coin in here and take get all the good canned food out of the three or four vending machines that we ran across. Ooh, look at that, guys! Purple SMG, hell's yeah! Um, and it is better than our blue ones, even with the mods on the blue ones. Fan freaking tastic. That's probably about the best reward we could have gotten with our build. Oh man, that is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Other good stuff too. Okay, let's check uh, these two boxes and then I'll let you go. Where's my axe? Oh man, I'm so, ha so, so happy. I was hoping we were going to find a purple SMG eventually. Um, here, let's just eat that. 
And uh, we found one. That's great. Okay, we got a tire. And what's in here? More pills. All right, cool. All right, guys, let's see what we get uh, for our reward for our first tier five quest. What a wonderful day. It is a wonderful day. Where's your reward? All right, yeah, steel pickaxe for 763 or steel boots for 10,091. We will take those. Plus, we get 12,500 XP and 2,042 coins. Beautiful. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was a great, this was a, a, a milestone episode for us because. It was our first tier five, and by the way, it was the first tier five that I have successfully soloed on insane uh, nightmare, you know, difficulty. Um, I've done tier fives before, of course, but I've but I've always done them on multiplayer with other people, and so um, I'm happy about that. And of course, it was also a very successful and satisfying run with our new stealth build. I'm really enjoying the stealth build; it's awesome. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next video.